Hey guys, welcome back to Legendaries Unleashed. Today we are opening the last of the Evolution Celebration tins, the Glaceon GX tin. So this is our last one here, as promised. Have already opened the other two and have had some decent pulls from both of them. So hopefully Glaceon is going to be on board and deliver something here for us as well. And today's actually going to be a little bit of a test video for me as well because it has officially become dark and gloomy up here in Canada with the rain and the fall and so testing out some lighting hopefully get that figured out over the next few videos to make sure we can get through fall and into winter and still be able to record things nicely because I do not have a lot of light in my room so I've actually had to bring in a bunch of extra lights because the natural lighting is just blah. Anyway enough of that we do have our beautiful tin here. I didn't even give you a good peek at it here. Let's get into that. I'm just all all sorts of sidetracked. So that is the front of the tin. Of course, you've seen the side of the tin with the other two. We do have our promo here and some booster packs. So we'll go ahead and get those out. I figure you only want to see the side of the tin so many times you don't need to see it. Three, we've done a pretty good overlook of it before. We do have our Glaceon GX card here, which is interesting because this one is a promo card as well. It's SM147, so the only one that wasn't an actual promo and ended up being an alternate art was this V Sylveon, which is kind of interesting to me. So we do have our beautiful promo card here. Of course, every tin you get one of the online TCG code cards. And, uh, our four booster packs looks like, yep, the exact same ones as we've had before. Two Celestial Storm, one Crimson Invasion, and the very, very random Roaring Skies, which has actually been pretty good to us. The question is, can Roaring Skies go three tins for three and uh, prove its worth? So I think we'll go ahead, do like we had been doing, start off with the Roaring Skies and end with the newest. Because that just seems like the best way to go about it with these tins, at least for me. That's my personal preference. And let's see what we can do. Hopefully the lighting is going to be okay here, but it is going to take me a little bit to figure that out because, you know, fall and doom and gloom and get things figured out. It'll be okay. We have Togepi, Inke, a Wingull, Swillow, a Shelgong, Gallade Spirit Link, a Dragonair, Halucha, Reverse Dragonite, very beautiful card, and Oh, did I? I did that wrong. Oh, I did the sun and moon pack trick. I did the sun and moon pack trick. Let me just go back here. Ah, uh, all right. Anyway, our swallow is going to be our rare, and that's what they do to me every time that they have a X and Y pack in here. For some reason, I just have a hard time going between the two different pack tricks, and that's just the thing. So. Let's see what we can do with the Crimson Invasion. This one is four and two. And I'm not sure that I am enjoying this lighting because it seems to be a little bit difficult on my camera for focusing. So gives me a good indication of some stuff we need to figure out here. We have Jigglypuff, a Water Energy, Lusamine, Staravia, Kakuna, Reverse Magikarp, and a regular rare Wigglytuff. So overall, not having a good start here and feeling a little bit bad about how this is looking so far, especially with trying to figure out some extra stuff. Okay, come on Glaceon, you need to pick things up here. Got two packs of Celestial Storm for a bit of redemption. We've got Dot, Metatite, a Wingo, a Ball Toy, Spoink, a Darkness Energy, Loudred, Energy Recycle System, Shrine of Punishment, a Fisherman, and a regular rare Registeel. So we are not, not feeling the love here from Glaceon. Maybe because I left it so long. Maybe Glaceon didn't feel loved by me. Oh. That is okay. We did pretty good in our first two tins, so. Oh, one more pack. We still have a chance here. Have a Metatite, Sea Dot, a Clam Pearl, Fampy, a Electric, Fire Energy, Groovile, 
Lantern, a Shell Gong, Last Chance Potion, and a regular Rare Deoxys. So I think the only thing that's really worth noting here, let me focus. Come on, camera. There we go. Um, was, where did it go? Come on. Where'd you go? Is the Reverse Rare Dragonite. Dragonite, not Dragonite. Yeah, Dragonite. Oh, gosh. I'm all over the place. Sorry, guys. Whole bunch of just not all here. But yeah, so the only one we can really mention is the Dragonite, which is our reverse rare. So not the best tin overall, I'd have to say. I think probably Leafeon did the best, but I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section down below which tin you enjoyed the most. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though it was all over the place. If you did, please leave it a like, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.